America. This is David Rissolata here from the Radical Conservative website and from ForTruthSake.com. Um, some of my articles can also be seen at Freedom Outposts and Patriot Update. Um, I thought I'd share a little bit from my new book, Not On My Watch, which is a story about my college experience in Oklahoma being educated in a social work program by radical leftists. I thought I'd read a little bit to you. Antonio Gramsci was an Italian communist who decided that the best way to change a culture from capitalism to communism was by incrementally infiltrating its institutions. His plan, known as the Long March to the Institutions, entailed the slow, methodical infiltration of every aspect of American society. Government, education, the church, the family. Well, you get the picture. He understood that the process would be painstakingly slow, and in fact, he expected the plan, the plan to take at least a century to complete. Gramsci's ideas are still relevant today as we see our society being divided into different oppressed groups. While Marxist theory revolved around the oppressed and the oppressor, Gramsci expanded on this by defining minorities, women, and even criminals as different classes of oppressed people. He also expanded on Marx's theory of how a dominant group exercises control by suggesting oppressed people suffer from hegemony. He referred to these people as organic intellectuals. This is where white privilege ideology probably came from because this refers to the way a group is suppressed by being forced to live in a system designed exclusively for the dominant social group. So what that essentially means is what we're witnessing today with Barack Obama um, and other race baiters instigating the riots with um, blacks in Baltimore. You know, they have convinced these people that, that they're oppressed and that they're living under the forceful hand of the white dominant social group. Like we are their oppressors. And I can't tell you how many times in my um, social work experience that I have a textbook where white people were referred to as the oppressor. Well, like I just read to you, this ideology can be traced all the way back to the early progressive movement with Antonio Gramsci, who implemented this plan as a method of change. Um, with Karl Marx, you simply had the oppressed and the oppressor or the the uh, bourgeoisie and the pro proletariat while well, antonio gramsci expanded on this and divided everybody into their own little social groups and came up with a theory of of having them be oppressed by the dominant group in this case the white man in America is the dominant group and everybody else is oppressed by the white dominant group. And that idea can be traced back to Antonio Gramsci. Um, again, the name of the book is not on my watch. It's my personal story. Um, being educated by the radical left and being exposed to all of these um, change strategies that we're now witnessing in our nation. Have a good night.